and welcome to this webinar on the School Counselor Performance Appraisal in Comprehensive School Counseling Programs. I am Sarah Kirk and I am so excited to be with you all again today. As you all know, we work, I work for the Oklahoma State Department of Education in the Student Support Division. Today's presentation is going to be covering the School Counselor Performance Appraisal. We'll talk about how it fits into the Ask a National Model, what it is, take a look at the template, and we will summarize. As always, please be aware that perfect is the enemy of good. We are striving to better serve our students. We are not striving for perfection. If you have been along on this ride with me through all of our webinars about comprehensive school counseling, then you should know that this is the very last component of the Ask a National Model. It doesn't mean it will be the last webinar. I'm going to do a few more on some other important elements of comprehensive school counseling. But as we have, we have worked our way through the national model, this is our last piece. So congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. This has been a long ride, but I hope that you have found it beneficial. So here we are at the School Counselor Performance Appraisal. Let's talk about where it goes into our national model. As we know, we have our national model that has those four components, define, manage, deliver, and assess. Together, this creates a framework for a school counseling program that can have a positive impact on student achievement, attendance, and discipline. We want our comprehensive school counseling programs to be data informed, delivered to all students, developmentally appropriate, there to close achievement and opportunity gaps. And of course, we want them to result in improved student achievement, attendance, and discipline. And by following this outline, we can do just that. So as we know, we have those four components define, manage, deliver, and assess, and each of those components has many different elements within it. And as I mentioned, we've worked our way through all of them. So we've defined what school counseling looked like. We've talked about how we manage our school counseling program, how we deliver those direct and indirect student services. And now we're talking about that really important piece of assessing both our programs and us as school counselors. So today's piece is talking about assessing us as the school counselor, the school counselor performance appraisal. The assess component, as we mentioned, is to ensure that our school counseling programs are doing what they are intended to do, which is improving student outcomes. So our assess component shows us how students are different as a result of our school counseling program. It's such an important element of comprehensive school counseling, and I think it is ignored all too often. We're often very tired by the time we get to this component, and sometimes we skip over for it a little bit. But honestly, it's one of the most important pieces because it tells us what's working, it tells us what needs to change, and it's our greatest advocacy tool because we can use what we find in our assessments to show others, to show stakeholders just how important school counseling programs are and just how different our students are as a result of our work. So like we said, we want to assess our program and ourselves as school counselors. So when we look at the assess component, we have program assessment, which includes the school counseling program assessment and those annual results reports. That's where we're assessing the program. Then we have the school counselor assessment and appraisal, and that has two components as well. The school counselor professional standards and competencies assessment, and then the school counselor performance appraisal, which is what we're here to talk about today. I think often people get the school counselor professional standards and competencies assessment kind of mixed up with this school counselor performance appraisal. The easiest way for me to distinguish the difference is that that school counselor professional standards and competencies assessment is a self assessment tool. It's really meant to be used for you to see where you are and to make a professional development plan based on that. This school counselor performance appraisal, on the other hand, is for your evaluator to use. It's an evaluation tool. So many of us 
if you're in Oklahoma, um, have different evaluation tools, teacher leader effectiveness tools, TLE is what it's often called. And that you might have Marzano or the Tulsa model or the various different TLE models that are allowed in the state. However, they're not always school counselor specific or they're not always very appropriate for the accurate role of a school counselor. I'm sure many of you have been evaluated using a teacher tool before, and you know that it's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, right? It's not what we do. So this school counselor performance appraisal is a tool that you can use, or you can encourage your evaluator to use, or you can ask your evaluator to use as an appropriate way to assess and appraise your work as a school counselor, okay? So like I said, there's those two different elements, both really helpful, both have different end goals, one more to self-assess and one more as a formal evaluation tool. So let's talk about the performance appraisal that's more of the formal evaluation tool. So like we said, annually, a qualified administrator would complete this performance appraisal to evaluate the school counselor's overall performance. Often, you might use this performance appraisal with your state or district evaluation or appraisal tool. Okay, so for example, I worked in a district that used Marzano for a very long time, and that wasn't an option. We couldn't opt out of that. I had to be evaluated using that tool. However, I asked my administrator to also use this appraisal um, document, the school counselor performance appraisal, because then at least I was getting some valuable feedback. And then she always included a copy of that performance appraisal with my Marzano evaluation. Again, your evaluation might be kind of like a square peg in a round hole, but if you can also have this component that is more aligned with the appropriate role, then it's a kind of, it's a way to make it a little more appropriate. All right. And you might be in districts that have a pretty accurate evaluation tool. And if so, then you may not need this additional tool. You may want to look at this tool and make sure your evaluation tool is really aligned, but you may not need it if you have a evaluation tool that's already very appropriate. For example, I also worked in a district that used the Tulsa model, and they did have a school counselor specific evaluation tool. So in that case, I just used part of this performance appraisal. I didn't use the whole thing because a lot of it was already included, already aligned in my evaluation tool. So take a look at this school counselor performance appraisal. Take a look at your required evaluation tool and see what pieces are missing would be my recommendation. All right, so the performance appraisal template can be used as a guide for that appropriate language that can um, align with our other state and district and school frameworks, but we want to make sure we include these essential components. We want to make sure that the design of a comprehensive school counseling program is included, data-informed goals, that's an important element, data-informed activities and interventions. So those classroom, small group, and closing the gap, activities and interventions, we want those to be in there. Calendars, those weekly and annual calendars that follow that recommendation of 80% direct or indirect student services. And then also an analysis of the data. So those results reports that we talk about in this assess component as well. So we really want our performance appraisal to include evidence of all of those things because that's what makes up comprehensive school counseling. So if you're thinking about your evaluation tool and you're thinking, well, I don't really get evaluated on any of those things. That's how this school counselor performance appraisal can help you. You can use it in combination with your evaluation tool. When you look at this performance appraisal, which we're about to in just a minute, you'll notice that you will use artifacts from the manage component of the comprehensive school counseling of our ASCA national model to 
um, to demonstrate that you've met those standards. So you're going to use artifacts from the managed component like those calendars. So you might print off your calendar and include them with this performance appraisal as evidence, check, she has done that, or check, he has a um, use of time filled out twice per year. Then you want to include that so that that's an artifact demonstrating that you have in fact met that standard. So again, this is where that connection's happening, right? Because even though we're in the assess component now, it's connecting to all those elements in the manage component as well. And then also, as you look through this performance appraisal, if you're noticing, oh, I've got an artifact for that. Oh, I've got that. Oh, I've got that. That's when you need, are ready to start looking towards RAMP, towards recognize, ask a model program distinction, okay? Because you have artifacts demonstrating all of that, which is exactly what you need when you apply for RAMP. So let's take a look at that template real quick. Hello there. All right, where is it? There it is. Let me get my screen shared again. And let's take a look at it. Just like the other documents, this is Oklahoma's version, um, branded with Oklahoma's logo, but the school counseling, oops, that's program assessment. That's not what we want. Sorry about that. Let me find the performance appraisal. Got so many forms. <laughs> okay. I have to go over to my email real quick. Bear with me. Oh, you know what I just realized? That document I was just showing you is right. It's just titled wrong. Okay, that's okay. We can fix that. All right. Let me share my screen again. Okay, so this is the performance appraisal. It just says the wrong title up here. So we will get that fixed. But we can see here that the performance appraisal is a way for your administrator or your evaluator to go through each of the pieces and give you a rating. So you can see here that, I'm gonna stop sharing because for some reason that's like frozen. It won't scroll for me. But you can see here, it just, just like the other documents, it goes through each element and your evaluator can just assess for your performance in that area. Let me try to share that again, see if it's not frozen this time. Okay, there we go. All right, so you can see here, they give you a rating zero through three on how much you have that implemented within your school counseling program. They can also put observation and comments after each section. You'll see here, so those are the mindsets, but when it gets to the behaviors, this is where you might have those artifacts that we were talking about. And this is such a great tool. It tells you what the artifacts might be, okay? So like this very first one in Professional Foundation talks about um, demonstrating a working knowledge of theories. So some of the things, the artifacts you might include are like professional development sessions you attended that are related to theories, things like that. So this is super, super helpful because it tells you exactly what artifacts can can show that you have met that. So if you're meeting with your evaluator, you're going to wanna to go through here and highlight and circle and bring artifacts of things demonstrating that you have in fact met that standard. Your administrator may not know all of these things without you bringing some of those artifacts to show it, okay? So you that's where you have to advocate for yourself and show what you have done. So let's go down to, you can see this is another pretty long document. So direct and indirect student services. So now your artifacts might be your action plans, your closing the gap action plan and results reports, copies of your lesson plan, your annual calendar. Obviously that's going to be the artifacts you need to show that you have 
um, designed and implemented the classroom large group and small group um, lessons. Okay, so hope that that is helpful. Okay. All right. And like I said, I don't know why this has the wrong title. We'll get that changed though. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing that. Hopefully you find that helpful. Again, your evaluator can just give you a score zero through three to help you see where your strengths are and where your areas for improvement are. All right. Got myself all mixed up because I couldn't find that document. I had it all along. It just had the wrong title. All right, but here we are. All right, so we took a look at that template again. You can find those on ASCA's website. And to summarize, the school counselor performance appraisal is meant to be used by a supervisor to assess the school counselor. The school counselor professional standards and competencies, again, is a self-assessment tool just to distinguish between the two. And the school counseling program assessment assesses the school counseling program as a whole. So again, this performance appraisal is used more for formal evaluation. And it can be used in combination with your district or state required evaluations. And then you use those artifacts from the managed component to demonstrate that you have met the standards. Easy enough, right? Yeah, so I hope you can see how this really starts to connect all the pieces, right? While we look at that slide that has all those things of all the components that would define, manage, deliver, and assess, it seems so overwhelming, but so much of it is so connected and so related. And I hope you can see that now. As always, thank you for everything you do for your students. Thank you for being here. Thank you for investing your time to learn about comprehensive school counseling. And as always, please reach out if I can do anything to help. I appreciate you so much. Like I said, if you've been along through all of these webinars, give yourself a big pat on the back because you have made it through each component of the national model. But be sure and check out the other webinars as we continue to talk about strengthening our school counseling programs to serve all students. I appreciate you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for what you do every single day. And thank you for investing in yourself. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.